everyone, this is Miss Torres, and today we are going to do lesson 10.4 of GoMath, which is identifying name and describe cylinders. So we have already learned about the sphere. We've learned about the cube, and today we are learning about a cylinder, a part of our four 3D shapes we will be learning in this chapter. So let's move on to describe what a cylinder is. I want you to think about what does it look like? Does it have flat surfaces? Does it have curves? Does it have both? Hmm. Do you think you can stack it? Do you think you can roll a cylinder? So when we are describing a cylinder, what we see here at the top, this part right here is a flat surface, which means that you could stack something on top of this surface. Now a cylinder has a flat surface on the top, but it also has a flat surface here on the bottom that you can't really see, okay? So a cylinder has two flat surfaces, one at the top and one at the bottom. Now, does a cylinder have curves? Well, we see that there's curves here at the top, right? A part of the flat surface, but there's also a curve right on the outsides of the cylinder. So if you were to put the cylinder on its side, you could roll it. You can try doing this with a soda can or if you have a cylinder block a can of soup or a can of vegetables or anything, a can that you have in your pantry. You can try seeing if you can stack it or roll it. Okay, so we know that a cylinder does have flat surfaces and a curved surface as well. So let's get started with the lesson. All right, just like the other chapters that we've been, other lessons that we've been working on, we are going to be sorting out our shapes. We have a bunch of 3D shapes over here. And we are going to be sorting the cylinder over here and not a cylinder. Okay. So let's get started. We have this first shape right here. Does anyone remember what this shape is called? This is our sphere. And we know that a sphere is not a cylinder. It has curves like a cylinder, but it doesn't have any flat surfaces. Now let's move on to the next shape. Does anyone remember what this shape is from our last lesson? This is a cube. Remember, it has flat surfaces, but it doesn't have any curves. So we're moving this to the not a cylinder side. The next one, this shape right here, where does this go? Is this a cylinder or not a cylinder? Just like we learned from the last page, this is our cylinder. It has a flat, two flat surfaces and curves. So we are going to move our cylinder over to this side because yes, this is our cylinder. And the last one at the bottom, we haven't learned about this one yet, but we know that it has one flat surface, but does it have two flat surfaces? This is called a cone. This is not a cylinder, this is a cone. So we're going to move this on the not a cylinder side. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Number one, if we're looking at the yellow cylinder, we want to talk about words that describe a cylinder. Now we've talked about this already. Let's see if you can remember. Does a cylinder have flat surfaces? What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, cylinders do have a flat surface. They have two of them. Remember one at the top here and one at the bottom. Okay, now the next one. 
Does the cylinder have a curved surface? Hmm. Yes, it does. A cylinder has a curved surface on the sides. So we see here that there's curves. Like I said, if you were to take a cylinder and put it on its side, you could roll it because it is curved. Number two, down at the bottom, we see our little colorful cylinder here. The question that they're asking is, how many flat surfaces does a cylinder have? I want you to answer that. How many do that, does it have? Okay, let's see what you answered. There is one flat surface on the top and one flat surface on the bottom. So how many flat surfaces are there total? Two flat surfaces on a cylinder. Okay, let's move on to the next page. All right, friends, here is a bunch of different objects, real life objects, and we are going to decide whether or not it is a cylinder. Okay, so remember a cylinder has two flat surfaces and a curved surface as well. Let's start with the top row. We have a can of tuna right here. Is that a cylinder? Yes, it is. Is a basketball a cylinder? Nope, that's a sphere. The last object, it looks like we have a cube and we know that that's not a cylinder either. Let's move it to the middle row. Our first object is a can with tennis balls inside. Is it a cylinder? Yes, it is a cylinder. It has those two flat surfaces and a curve. Looks like a can. The middle one, this looks like a box, a cardboard box. Is that a cylinder? Nope, it's a cube. And the last one, it looks like a little candle. This one has flat surfaces, it does not have curves. So it's not a cylinder, it's a pyramid. And last row, down here at the bottom, the first shape. It looks like an orange. Is an orange a cylinder? What shape is an orange? A sphere. Good job. The middle row. In the middle we have what looks like to be a tube of some sort. Sometimes you'll see um, bagels or cinnamon rolls, things like that, that, or even juice that are inside these kind of cans. Is this a cylinder? Now, it's on its side, but it still has two flat surfaces and a curve. This is a cylinder. Our last shape looks like a cone with a handle on it, and we know that that's not a cylinder either. So these are the three shapes you should have pointed to for a cylinder. Next page. All right, number four is the mystery question. I'm going to give you some clues and you're going to point to the right shape. All right, are you ready? Clue number one. I have two flat surfaces. Hmm, which shape has two flat surfaces? Go ahead and point to that one. You're looking for this one right here. The cylinder has two flat surfaces. Remember, one flat surface at the top and one flat surface at the bottom. All right, and number five, down at the bottom, if you have a paper and a pencil, here you can try to do the same thing. You are going to think about an object in real life that is shaped like a cylinder. Now on the last page, we've seen a couple options here. 
Okay. Or you can think about something else that you have at home. Something that you've seen at school. What are you thinking about? Well, I know one object that is shaped like a cylinder is a can of soda. So I'm going to draw a can of soda the best that I can. I'm going to draw a little circle at the top. This is my flat surface. Okay. And then I'm going to draw the curved sides down here. And we know that there's another flat surface here at the bottom. Now let me draw my little... I'm doing the best I can to draw. It looks like it's supposed to be the flap where you open your soda. And I'm going to draw... Coca... Oh, let me try that again. There we go, and that's my Coca-Cola over here. And that is my can of soda, which is also a cylinder. What object did you draw? Hmm, maybe you drew a block shaped like a cylinder. Maybe you drew a can of soup or a can of vegetables. All right, now to finish up and wrap up our lesson, we're going to remember that a cylinder has two flat surfaces and a curved as well. Thank you for watching. If you would like, you can go around your house and see what you can find that is shaped like a cylinder. Remember, you can try and stack them and you can try and roll them and see what happens. Thanks for watching.